<laughs> let me take it. No, let me. Wait for your face. Have you no shame? That is what the stupid said to the fire. Have you no shame? At your age, licking my buttons while you were tickled just the same. The school teacher has full of story this morning. And now, with the lesson over, may I have the fail? No, I have told you. You must not carry heavy loads on your head, but you wouldn't listen. You are stubborn as an illiterate good. It is bad for the spine. It shortens the neck, so that very soon you may have no neck at all. Do you wish to look squashed like my pupils drawing? I would just sworn that my looks not affect your love. Yesterday, dragging your face to the soil, you said, Sidi, if you're good or fat, skin scaly like this, I only repeat what you I say. I will stand by every word I say. I must you throw away your neck on that account? It, 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 it is so unwomanly. Only spider carry loads the way you do. Well, it is my neck, not your spider. And look, look, look at that. Who was it that spoke of shame just now? Sidi, how often must I tell you? A grown-up girl must cover up her shoulders. I can see quite a good portion of that. And so I imagine can every other village men casting their lustful eyes where they have no business. All of them, good for nothing idlers. Are you at that again? I've gone the post so hard so that I can hardly breathe. And all because you keep at me so much. I have to leave my arms so I can use them, or don't you know that? Well, you could hear something. Most modest women do. But you, no. You always run around the village naked. Does it not bother you? The bad names, the loot jokes, the tongue-licking noises that girls uncover like you draw after them. This is too much. Is it you lacolator in that make myself come on top? When the whole world knows of the man my village who calls himself a teacher. In city that makes the men choke in their cups. Or you with your big loud words and it's no meaning. You are your rag books. Drag your feet to every threshold. Pretty them instead of gossip. Listen they call a fool or you with your fight as a little sir. For that what is a jewel to pick. Oh. If I am now misunderstood by you and your race of savages, I invite above tongues and remain unruffled. Oh, oh, you make me want to pop your face. A natural feeling arising out of envy. For as a woman, you have lesser brain than mine. Again, I'll let you know. Just what this is this money country. No, no. You can no longer drag me into arguments that go way above your beads. Well, I'm going. Can I take the pill or not? Now, now, CD. Give it or I will. Now, CD. Bow to me that you will marry me and I will scorn the jikes of this bushman who know nothing. CD, swear to be my wife. And I will stand against the earth, the heavens, and the nine hells. Now dare you go again. One little time you should like a cooker too. You talk and talk and devil me. With what you sound the same and make no meaning. I tell you today, I shall marry you today, next week, or any day you mention. But first, my pipe price must be made. Now you turn away. But luckily, I tell you, my full pipe price must be paid. You want it to be called to be made as a laughing stock in the village. But city will not make herself a cheap bill for the village. A savage person. My barrage. Outdated. Excommunicated. Redundant. Retrogressive, unpalatable, remarkable. It's the bad end to you. Why did you stop? I own only a shorter companion dictionary, Just but I've ordered the longer one. You wait. Just pay the price. An ignoble custom, infamous, ignominious, shaming our heritage before the world. Oh, city, I do not seek a wife to fetch and carry, to cook and scrub, to bring four children by the gross. Apple forgive you. Do you not contract bearing a wife? Of course I do not. But oh, CD, I want to wed because I love. I seek a life companion. And the man shall take the woman. And the, the two shall become together as one. Oh, CD, I seek a friend. A friend in need. An equal partner in my race of life. Then pay the price. Ignorant girl! Do you not understand? To pay the price you're going to buy a hefty off the market store. You'd be my shuttle. My main property. No, CD. When we are wed, you shall not sit tattered to my heels at his way. We shall sit together at the table and eat, not with fingers, but with knives and forks and breakable plates. Like civilized beings, we shall walk arm in arm, like the, on the streets of Lagos, like the Lagos couples I see. High heel shoes for the ladies, white paint for the lips, and hair stretched like that of a magazine. I shall teach you the words, and we shall learn the fox, fox trunk. Oh, city. I need to show you the grandeur of these towns. We can go there if we want. Or merely pay visits. You choose. Be a civilized wife. And... <laughs> no, don't! I tell you, I dislike it on Nelvin Mountain if you You make me think you never wish to whisper something in my ear. And it, it's so unclean. Are you being rude to me? Bush girl! Bush girl, you always be. Uncivilized, primitive bush girl. 
I kiss you like every Christian and educated man kiss their wives. It's a civilized way of romance. A way you mean to avoid paying the right price. Me and reason. It is not. <laughs> romance, it's, it's the sweetening of the soul. A way yeah. with you. The fellow says you are mad. And I begin to understand. I wonder why they allow you to go to school. You are your talk. There are people coming. Pick your own chair. Oh my god. He has returned. Who has? The stranger, they clown from the outside world. The clown that fell into the river for you. You mark the devil's own us. Mm. Yes, the one with one high chattered box. He has returned. And this time, he brought to this village square a vehicle with two feet. And it goes like this. Vroom! Have you seen the images? The images. Of course it brought them all. This is it. In fact, there was hardly any part of the village that was not true. Is Baraka's image not there at all? Of course he is. But it would have been better if Baraka isn't in, the, isn't in the magazine at all. Because his picture is just at one side of the magazine, in which the latrines are the latrine side. Swear, ask Ogun to strike it there. I swear to Ogun. Lamba. While light I lie. Lamba. Honestly speaking. Lamba. Ogun strike me there if I lie. Then I'm more esteemed than Pele Baraka. How many leaves of book do my pictures take? One? No. Let's have to make you, you, and you. Hey, okay. the lost stranger. You, no. You, no. No. You, the bookworm. This fool bores me. It is an e game for idiots. No. You look like him, talk like him. You are perfect for you. I have never drank in my life. But your father drank. Your share and your grandson's share. Lakule. You, and you, you, here, you, here, you, here, and you, here. Upaka, Upaka. an old man like you today. No, nothing at all. And we are not feeding you something I have forgotten. You did? Not at all, sir. Well, the play was much alive and it's like him. And now everything stops. 
and you are leaving us. I, I knew you saw and I came out and you. Let me fly and see if I was super today. One will have to think the banner will have time for such childish nonsense. Ah, ah, Miss Itala, Kune. Without this thing you call nonsense, a banner is like the beauty job. Well, now that you say I can resume your place, shall we continue? Season! What for? You tried to steal our village with me. Have you forgotten? If you are serving this last week. Yes! It's been five full months since I've last had to go I found even in the larger towns. It is not a, my grandfather told me of how he tried to spoil the public works attempt to build a railway through Illusion Lake. That is all yes says. Nobody knows the truth of that. I love yes says. Now, Kule, tell me all. You want to know? Brother, let's sit down. My father told me before he died. A few men know of this trick. Oh, he's a die-hard rogue. Swan against our progress. Yes, it was somewhere here. The tracks should have been laid just along the outskirts. Well, the workers came to pack. We were prisoners who were brought to the other part to break Jungle's map. Enter the prisoner, guarded by two warders. A white surveyor examines his map. Happy helmet, fast, easy feet. The former runs up with his camp food. Table, etc. Erect the umbrella over him and unpack the usual box of bush comfort, soda siphon, whiskey bottle and geometric sandwiches. His map consulted, he directs the sweat, sweat team where to walk. They began felling, matches swinging, blood dragging, all to the rhythm of the walk. Dance metal percussion, road on gong or rude triangle, etc. The two performers are also the song leaders and the other few chorus. They marked the route with stakes, eight, through the jungle and began the track. Trade, progress, adventure, success, civilization, faith, international conspicuousity. It was all within the grasp of Illusion Lane. The wrestler enters, stands horrified at the sight. Leave. Returns later with the ballet himself, who soon assesses the situation. The war continues. The war continues. The surveyor occupies himself with a fine whisk of whiskey. Shortly after, a bull arrives her. The prisoners fall tight into pick up the gate. The bull arrives continues on the train, nearer and further, moving in circles. So that the disappearance will come from all around them. The foreman is forced to break and then liberate his player. Run! 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 Free and threatening, he's prevailed upon to open his gifts. Grabs his chin and consults his map. And consults his map. We examine the contents of the bowl. Shakes his head. Baroka adds more money and a cook of hands. A goat follows. And this time, two drones on him at last. He has made a mistake. The track really should go the other way. What an unfortunate error. Discovered just in time. No, no, no. No possibility of a mistake this time. The track should be much further away. In fact, scooping up the soil, the earth is most unsuitable. Couldn't possibly support the weight of the railway engine. A guide of Pawan is brought to seal the agreement, and a color note is broken. Barokan's men help the surveyor pass, and they live with their arms round each other, followed by the surveyor's booty. Why improve, my lord? You are still somewhat over gentle with the pool, as if you fear to all the panther of truth. Be sharp and sweet, like the swift thing of a vicious wasp, for dear the pleasure lies, the cooling aftermath. I will learn, my lord. You have no time, my dear. Tonight, I am to take another wife, and the honor of this task, you know, belongs to my latest choice. But, how? Now that was sharp. Tired me with scorpion serving sting without poison. You make what an angry pool you try to hurt. 
well, perhaps I shall let you stay. The soul has pull out my soul beaten ends. Vengeful creature, it did not caress the area of extraction long enough. Ah, here comes Sadiku. Did you bring some bam to suit the smart of my mistress and put? Away, you enemy. My lord, you have my leave to speak. What did she say? She will not, my lord. I did my best, but she will have none of you. It follows the pattern. A fair refusal at the start. Why would she not? That is the strange part of it. She said you have too much food for her. If you ask me, I think she's really up her head. All the zealots of this book has been too much for her. She says that I'm old, and I'm much too old. Did they slight the right to girl say this of me? My lord, I had the first word with my head, and I thought the word was mad. But is it possible, Sadiku? Is this right? They know that the festival of rain defeat the men the lock tossing match. They know still with Monsieur Les one on the leopard and boy at night. Do you know my wife report the failing my manliness? Come to that. Suit me, Sadiku, for I am not at heart. That is good, Sadiku. Very good. Perhaps it is as well, Sadiku. My lord, what did you say? Yes, this one. I say it as well. The scorn, the laughter and the jeers would have been bitter had she consented and my purpose feel I would have sunk with sin. My lord, I'm not as well. My time has come and I can deceive myself no more. I am no man. My man would end up me a week ago. The God for me! I wanted to do because I would. A foolish thought I know. But I see hope that with a virgin, young and hot to do, if my family strength will rise and save my life. The God will have me for you. I have told this to no one but you because you are my eldest and my sister. But if you dare to my son before the world, I will the boy have gone so short lately. But, but, but such of your trouble, such of your loyalty. But to kill my father, beat them all by producing female kings at the age of 57, why then must I, the descendant of this lion, forswear my wife by the age of 62? My veins have run dry, my mouth has gone, the souls have scratched my mother.